Hello, in this episode for Instagram TV or another platform, if you're watching it on another platform, I'm going to take you through a favorite smash, a combination of two of my favorite tools, which are Adobe Spark, the Spark tool, so actually really three of them, and then Google Slides. So I'm going to share with you a special way to take student work. So on the fly, if you don't have an LMS set up or a way to integrate this with say Google Classroom, if you're already using the Google tools, to give kids a space to share their Spark video, Spark posts, Spark page creations in a collaborative document so that their peers can see and celebrate their work so you can quickly check in on their progress or their final piece. And so you can really tailor that experience to your particular goals for your students. So I'm gonna switch over now to my computer screen so that you can watch me take you through these steps. I'm going to take you through the steps of how to share a Spark creation with Google Slides. So I am here right now on my Spark project. This is a Spark post. For a Spark post or a Spark video or a Spark page, you would use the share button. I have a few different options here. Of course, I could share this right within Google Classroom if I wanted to. That's a new feature some of you may not know about. Um, or I could grab a link or in this case, I could download it as well. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy this link right here. So it's gonna to copy to my dashboard. Then I'm gonna go and hit the download button. You can see right here, it's downloading to my computer. Now I've already set up a slide deck that I can share with a group. So when I'm leading professional development for teachers, I'll often create a slide deck, invite everyone into it as a way to share uh, notes or share projects or share ideas. And the same thing goes here. So I created a slide deck here with my title, our favorite quotes from the Lorax with Dr. Seuss, add an S on to there. <laughs> and then I made these slides, which I just copy and pasted. I could share this document with anyone else who I want to access it and edit a slide. So you can give um, your students numbers and say you're gonna be slide three, four, five, six, or even keep their name in here yourself and then always use that as a template. So what I can do is what I did on this example. So I put my name where it said name. I wrote, I chose this quote because, and then I added in the image here. So in order to add that image, you would go to insert image. You can upload it from your computer, which is what I did from my download, or um, which you can do if you have a link to a project is you can go ahead into, I'm gonna make this text box a little bit smaller, and I can say, here is a link to view. Now, remember, I pasted that link on my clipboard before, so I'm gonna paste it here. But if I thought that looked a little messy, I could go ahead and do undo, and instead highlight the text, click to add a link, and then add that here too. So this way someone could just click on the link to see this as well. So these are the steps to take in order to share Spark creation, whether it's Spark posts like you see here and you can use the share or download button, Spark video, use the share or download button, Spark page, you use the share or the print option when it comes to sharing your Spark page, bring it into a slide deck that everyone in your class has access to because you've shared it with them and that way everyone's work can pop up here on the page.